Hickok 45. You know, you don't have to get a Colt to be a cowboy. There's still some pretty cool firearms being made chambered in 45 Colt. Yeah, huh? <laughs> and they'll even smoke pot. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. Doggies. I think he fired six. He did. Yes, even in double action, you can get 45 Colt. Look at that. Cowboys would have liked this revolver. Uh, and actually, they had some double action revolvers back in the day. The very first ones didn't swing the cylinder out there like that. So, 45 Colt. This happens to be a Ruger. Okay, Red Hawk. Believe it or not, you might have heard about this one. It's a relatively new offering from Ruger. Some really nice food there. And uh, 45 Colt. And also, as you noticed, some 45 ACP. This little baby will chamber both. That's the difference between this and maybe your Red Hawk, or unless you have one of these, uh, or the older Red Hawks. So this is a Red Hawk that is offered in uh, these chamberings, and it has a round butt grip, which is kind of neat. And it's got a pretty grip. It's got a, just a little over four inches on the barrel, 4.2, I think. And you got a full, you know, sight rib up there. You've got uh, the underlug doesn't go all the way to the end, so you got kind of a nice look about it. Got plenty of meat to it, especially for the 45 Colt, you know, or 45 ACP. And uh, it's an interesting firearm. I've uh, wanted to get a hold of one for a while now, and uh, noticed that the buds had one in stock, so I requested it for a video. Go to eGunner, okay? Pretty cool, and you can't hate it because, well, Ruger makes fine revolvers, and it's also in a couple of my favorite cartridges. So let me go ahead and fire uh, 45 ACP. Put them in the moon clip. Now you have to have the moon clips. Uh, let's see, I didn't actually try it, but I, I read, I know it's an amazing fact to learn I can read, but if you just put it in there, yeah, it'll go on down into the chamber, see? So not good. So you have to have your moon clips. There are, there are revolvers like this that use an automatic cartridge that it will a headspace you know, on the case mouth and you can get by with firing them, uh, just loading them individually. The, this is not one of them, okay? Got a long chamber for the 45 uh, long Colt, 45 Colt, typically referred to as, uh, maybe we'll talk about that long Colt someday. Uh, it, it really goes back to when uh, they had the Schofield, uh, which was basically the 45 Colt cartridge, but it was shorter and you still get those cases and some people shoot them. And when they came out with that, I think that's when they started calling this the long Colt, just to differentiate between it and the, the Schofield round, the shorter cartridge, okay? But generally, 45 Colt is that round, so we call it 45 Colt. We call this 45 ACP. Let's put some of those in. Clip. And you notice you got the recess there that's carved out for this uh, moon clip. And one reason I have this other one out here somewhere, yeah. Uh, this is some old, these are kind of standard moon clips. I've had these around. I used to compete with a 625 Smith & Wesson uh, years ago a lot and had fun doing that. And it, it'll go in, but the cylinder won't close. Okay, so you, you need these moon clips right here. Okay, and maybe I'll take the empties out and show you the difference there. All right, so they work because it's got to fit down in there. And uh, this is an alternative. You know, if, if this were my gun, I'd be shooting 45 Colt in it most of the time. Uh, and not not 45 acp but it gives you that option maybe what i do there we go okay and we've got a shorter cartridge but it still works just fine let's lob one over to gong now i've got two different points of impact <laughs> i've shot both uh I'll tell you the truth i forget where they hit but we'll find out all right i'll hold oh gosh i don't know I'll hold up on the gong a little bit. Okay. Must be in the neighborhood. Yeah, not bad. Let's try a two liter here. Oh, -ho! sent him splashing around, didn't it? Oof. Oh, I wounded him. I barely wounded him. I don't know if I've ever done that with a two liter. And what about a bowling pin? <laughs> <Oop. laughs> 
I think he fired six. Yeah. Okay. And they all come out together. So if you're going to carry this for defense, that might be how you'd want to carry it. Uh, I was going to bring a screwdriver out here, and I didn't do it and pull those off. I can probably use this. Sometimes I'll bring this brush out, just so you'll know why, in case I need to uh, brush my hair. Actually, you know, if you get, I don't know, you get some extra residue in a revolver or whatever you're shooting, uh, it's, it's handy to have something like that to just like run it in there and brush it out and you don't need to oil it necessarily. But uh, that might, might get you through and keep you operating. I might be able to use my knife here without dulling it too much. Because these, yeah, they just pull them out. They're pretty, pretty simple. So you see the way these are made. These are more of a high-tech moon clip and uh, easier to use actually. And I think they work in, in most all of these, I, I believe, uh, not just the, the Ruger, but the way it's made with those prongs, it's easier to get the cases out. In fact, you can just do it with your finger. Yeah, you can pull them off. It's easier with any kind of thing you stick in there. And there's tools for that, which I have in the barn. Uh, so it's a little bit different and it fits in there better and uh, doesn't go over that, that recessed area. See, it fits down right in there fits perfectly and you get more of those from Ruger I, I think I've seen these for sale other places though maybe I haven't but uh, they're available from Ruger I know it's in the manual okay uh, so anyway so it'll handle both I've shot both already right so let's put some of these big 45 Colts in here you know that's one of my very favorite cartridges and uh, it's neat to have a firearm a double action modern firearm that actually uh, chambers uh, one of my favorite cartridges. I always have a lot of 45 Colt around, uh, especially thanks to Federal, and uh, I've always had a lot of it around because I have a lot of 45 Colt uh, chambered firearms uh, that I dearly enjoy. And uh, this is pretty neat. Uh, I'll have to say uh, it's a big gun. I don't know if you'd carry it as a defensive uh, <laughs> firearm, but you could. If you like a big firearm, big caliber, let's shoot this paper target. Again, these always go in the box, uh, go back, uh, you know, with the gun for the auction. Ah, I'll cock the first one. Yeah, now it hits right on. Uh, it has about a, I think about a six or seven pound break on it. It's got a nice crisp break, but it's not as light as some Smiths or probably any Smith and Wesson, uh, but it's okay. Uh, I don't mind. I'm a double action now. Boom. Yeah, not bad. But I'm a little different. I, uh, yeah, I have to tell you that, right? I, I like a heavier trigger generally. Uh, now, if I were competing for the Olympics, I probably would not. But for anything, um, especially defensive, I like a, a little stiffer trigger. I want a crisp break. But I don't mind if it's a little bit heavier than what a lot of people like. And uh, so, you know, so it, it's, it's not too light. And it may not be light enough for you. I don't know. But it's got a little, little resistance there. Big old cartridges. Anything that chambers a 45 Colt has got to be okay, right? And it's a Ruger, you know, Red Hawk. They're built, you know, like a tank. And they lock up tight. Their, uh, their design, you know, their, I think this firearm was designed originally for 44 Magnum, wasn't it? And so they're designed to handle some pretty warm rounds. Now they recommend, and I think in the manual, uh, not to shoot 45 Colt uh, hot loads or if there is such a thing as plus P, I guess. But I think, you know, it's, it's designed for this gun for a 44 Magnum. So you could, you hand loaders, you, you could probably pump them up a little. I'm not recommending it, of course. You always follow what it says in the manual, but it is a Ruger and it's, uh, it's well made. Uh, I put it this way, it would probably handle a warmer round than a Colt single action because they're definitely not made for really hot rounds for Magnum rounds, okay? Whereas this design kind of is, but yeah, it's 45 Colt though. Uh, if you want Magnum, get a 44 Magnum or a 454, you know? All right, if, you, if you've got a, a super, supercharged 45 Colt, you really don't have a 45 Colt anymore. And of course, when you have a 45 Colt, you owe it to the firearm to shoot a Desperado, a cowboy that's a bad guy, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> Boom, right in the heart. Oh man, pretty neat gun. Oh, there's a two liter. It has not been addressed. It has now. And there's a bowling pin sitting there in the sun, basking in the sunlight. Let's ruin his day. <laughs> Got him really solid. I, I could tell by the way he fell. And let's see, what was I hitting the gong with? I was hitting it with the ACP. Let's throw a, a Colt at it. Okay, so a little bit different point of aim. Not sure where. Couldn't see that one in the leaves. All right. So pretty neat. Uh, let's put another ACP charge in there. Why I'm struggling on that so much. There, there we go. All right. Now, there's a little uh, pot there that didn't get smoked. Oh, man. The difference in recoil is uh, <laughs> substantial. Let's hit that piece of cinder. Yeah. Let me go back to the gong, see if, uh, let's go ahead and try the turkey up there. See if I can at least scare it. Oh, just over his head, I think. One more round. Thanksgiving's coming up. Got to get a turkey. All right. Oh, <laughs> he hit him, but he didn't fall. Okay. I think he'll bleed to death, though. So we'll have turkey for Thanksgiving. Sounds good. Uh, what about it before I get too carried away here? That, uh, again, you got some nice round butt grips on it. And, uh, I mean, it's a Ruger Red Hawk. You know, I mean, uh, if you don't like a Ruger Red Hawk, you won't like this firearm. So, you know, in terms of positives and negatives, it sort of is what it is. It, uh, the grip feels small in my hand, but I kind of like it. I, 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 it's kind of a compact version of the Red Hawk. So, so I'm okay with that round butt grip and the shorter barrel. Uh, be uh, kind of a cool, uh, kind of a woods gun, packing around in the woods or something. You could hunt with it, I guess. But it's just uh, kind of a neat little all around uh, revolver. Uh, some people might not like the grip. I think the barrel's too short, you know, you can always find fault, especially if you don't like Rugers. Uh, you can interchange that, you can take that front sight out, you push that button there and, you know, just slide the sight out and replace that with a different sight if you like. And of course, and then the, uh, the rear sight's adjustable for windage and elevation. And those are usually the problems you have when you're missing. I've kind of narrowed that down in my shooting. It's almost always a problem with windage or elevation. So you can, uh, you can adjust that right there, which I have. I've raised the rear sight uh, in some shooting a couple days ago. I realized uh, for me, it was shooting a little bit low. So I raised the uh, rear sight. And it's got an ambidextrous trigger. Uh, what else? It's a Ruger, Red Hawk. Been around a good while. And uh, they tend to work. And uh, they're kind of a workhorse. I, for me, they're not as as pretty uh, as a, <laughs> I can't think of a better word the, as a Smith and Wesson. Uh, I don't like them as much as a Smith and Wesson, but I do like them. Okay. Uh, in fact, I have the Red Hawk, you know, with the seven seven and a half inch barrel, and I've got the GP100. Uh, I bought all of those, you know, so I like Ruger. Uh, if I had to choose, I would go with the Smith, but I like the Rugers too. They're, they're pretty neat. Now I've got some other Rugers, I think. Can't think of it right now. All right, let's, we, since we've got these loaded, uh, let's go ahead and load the last of the 45 ACPs up here and uh, shoot something. I think you'd want some rounds that, that have, a, I don't know, a different crimp maybe if you were going to try to speed load this thing. There we go. It hangs up a little bit. All right, more of a taper crimp. So let's see how it would be if I was living in the, the Walter Mitty Wild West here in my mind, and, and I just need to pull it to uh, prevent some desperado from putting me six feet under. All right, I think I missed the first shot. I didn't have a good grip on it. All right. Pretty neat gun. I'll shoot it six more times. 
uh, just because I need to I need to finish with the cartridge of my dreams of my childhood fantasies 45 Colt okay I really enjoy this cartridge I've loaded thousands and thousands of them probably not loaded as many as federal has but I've loaded a lot of them okay again we appreciate federal and Bud's gun shop everybody that helps us out SDI we get more help than we deserve well, maybe we deserve it. I don't know. But we appreciate it. All right. Let's do a little one-handed shooting. Let's see if it'll knock the tree limbs around. Even if I miss. Yeah, it doesn't work if you miss. I wanted to miss on purpose just to see. Yeah, pull him right on around there. I bet it even knocks them back, which takes more thrust on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Knock that bottom one around. All right. Did he fire five or did he fire six? Quit. Uh, it's funny. Sometimes I'll come out here with a uh, any kind of firearm, and I just want to see where it hits or how the sights are. And I'll, I'll maybe shoot the tree, but, uh, but then you can't tell where you hit it until you knock it back around. So it's always frustrating. You can't tell where you hit. It disappears. Your target disappears on you. Okay, so the Ruger Redhawk 45 Colt 45 ACP. I've had uh, quite a few requests uh, to get a hold of one of these. And uh, to answer your questions about it, you know, yeah, it's a Ruger Red Hawk and it's great. Uh, seems fine. Uh, if you're thinking of that and you're attracted to the cartridges, both of those, and you want that versatility and a Red Hawk in this size, I think you'd, you'd really like it and you'd enjoy it. And then especially if you're like me, you have other firearms that are chambered in this wonderful uh, cartridge that goes back to 1873, then... Uh, you know, it's, it, it makes a lot of sense. You're either loading that stuff or you already have some of it. It's widely available. It's not all that cheap if you're buying factory ammo, but it's definitely available, way more available than it was in the 70s or 80s because of cowboy action shooting, all of that. Uh, guns chambered in it and everything else have, have increased uh, uh, astronomically, really, which is a great, great situation. So pretty neat little gun. If you're a Ruger fan, I think you'd really like this. And because uh, I kind of like it myself, John even likes it. Okay, he's harder to please than I am. Life is good. Since I'm still here, let me thank SDI for all their help. SDI is a fully accredited online gunsmithing school. Check them out at sdi.edu. We'd also like to thank Bud's Gun Shop and Federal Premium for all of their support. You can find us on Full 30 also now, and you can find the links to our Facebook pages and the other YouTube pages in the description of any video. So I invite you to check out the description in every video or any video, you'll find what you need to know. And you'd better do it.